So a Mexican woman was found hanging upside down from the border wall. It says she had a climbing harness. I don't know exactly what that means. I looked it up and it's one of those things that rock climbers use. I don't think it was that though. I've seen them use like these homemade, very loose kind of uh, ladders. Might have been that, I don't know. I guess she fell at some point at the top and she was hanging upside down. And in the report, it says she was hanging upside down for a long time. Now, I don't know if she was hanging on the Mexican side or the American side. I don't know. It must have been the Mexican side because on the American side, they have cameras. The border patrol is always passing by. But yeah, man, a lot of people in the comments are like, oh, that's what you get. You know, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. But still as someone's, you know, family member, friend, you know, still sad, still messed up. But yeah, if you're going to do something like that, you better be 100% sure you can do it. There's no room for error. That's a pretty high wall. Yeah, so let's go ahead and check out the full report. Let me know what you guys think. Authorities are investigating the cause of death of a Mexican woman whose leg was entrapped while using a climbing harness and ended up hanging upside down off the border wall in eastern Arizona. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officials offered few details, but the local sheriff's office said the woman was a 32-year-old who was attempting to cross the wall near Douglas, Arizona. Her name was not released. The Cochise County Sheriff's Office said she hung upside down for, quote, a significant amount of time. The Sheriff's Office said it was in contact with the local Mexican consulate and continues to investigate what happened. Customs and Border Protection said its Office of Professional Responsibility is working with the Sheriff's Office on the investigation and would release more information as it becomes available. Migrants occasionally die while attempting to cross the border wall, including a man who died in early April of 2022 from injuries he suffered when he fell from the barrier in Texas. It was unknown if there was video surveillance in the area where the woman became entangled. Authorities did not describe the wall she was trying to climb over. However, some of the last border wall construction carried out before the end of former President Donald Trump's term was in the Douglas area, with 30-foot-tall steel columns erected on U.S. Bureau of Land Management property. On April Street, two migrants fell from the border barrier near Clint, Texas, about 12 miles west of the Tornillo port of entry. Emergency medical technicians rendered first aid and took them to a hospital in El Dusto, Texas. One man arrived at the hospital unconscious and died at the hospital on April 5. The second was treated for a fractured right hand and returned to Customs and Border Protection officials, who returned him to Mexico. Counterfeiting is a billion dollar business perpetrated by thousands of people throughout the world. Meet Kimo, one of those people. Kimo is a young man from the most dangerous city in America. After losing his job, he ventures into the risky business of counterfeiting to help relocate his family to a better place.